Let's just go crazy a little bit and think about the future. What do you think the evolution of OTT streaming is gonna go? And how tech can help broadcasters and uh, service providers to stay on top of that? Interesting question. Uh, you know, for library-based OTT VOD, I'm not sure that's gonna evolve a great deal. It works really, really well right now. Getting viewer preference data from it and, and getting all of your metrics out of it is still something that's really, I think, largely untapped. And there's huge value right up the food chain for that. As far as live goes, though, that's a different story because OTT for live, OTT was never designed for live. This is one of the reasons we have latency trouble in OTT, but it works really well for live. So when people move to fast or deploy fast, they need to monitor OTT, which is very different from any way they've monitored before, where they're monitoring two or three points of some streaming you know, legacy format. They're now facing multiple formats, multiple resolutions, multiple ways to distribute, multiple CDNs, multiple inter intermediate networks. And so the complexity they face is extremely high. And I think this is where TAG brings benefit because we allow you to understand your system at a flow level. And we have tools that can understand the paths you use in your system and we can deploy tools down that path. And so we bring the monitoring tools they maybe not know they need to the table. So transitionally speaking, we do something else I think that's important. We support formats all the way from production through distribution. And so we can ingest everything in the old production domain as the old live domain, such as SDI related signals, all the way down through the food chain to the lowest common denominator of, of OTT. And I think that's a strength we bring to broadcasters. So as they evolve, as they step into OTT, you just simply enable that and tag, and you're now monitoring OTT. Would it be right to say that the, the level of automation that is built into this the tax system is actually going to help them because it has to be fully automated, it has to be sophisticated enough to understand the uniqueness of each type of video stream and provide the data in a way that everybody can understand. Yeah, and it goes way beyond simple alarming, which is the most important part of monitoring, but the next level is, of course, the logging of that and that useful information for figuring out what went on, whether it's for accountability or for making things right. And so I think that the power of what we can do with the data that sits in the MCS opens doors to things that OTT broadcasters are now discovering. And Content Match, you know, led us to do path awareness and group awareness. And that now leads to being able to push all of these services on a node by node basis down the line and bringing them all together from a data and metrics point of view in the MCS. So now you have a view of your path, both in real time as mm -hmm. well as historically. You can now apply AI to go looking at what went on. You can have AI and ML learn trends that lead to problems and over time you can build a system that understands itself well enough that it can take care of its own health.